Are you the hammer or are you the nail? Listen, if you've been training any amount of time in jujitsu, you have learned that there are days you're going to go in the gym and everything's clicking. You're hitting the arm bars, the rear naked chokes, the knee bars, the heel hooks. You got it all. The next class, you're feeling really good about yourself until it comes time to roll and everything falls apart. And now you're getting choked, you're getting arm barred, you're getting knee barred, you're getting heel hooked, and you question everything about jujitsu. Guys, in this video, I want to expose the reality that way too many of us are so discouraged because we're putting way too much weight in the outcome of our roles. It's gotten a little silly and it's robbing us of the joy of enjoying this art of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. To be plain, it needs to stop. You can embrace and enjoy being hammer and nail because you're going to get a little bit of both. And guess what? It's okay. All right. There's a guy named Tom DeBlass that if you're a part of the jiu-jitsu world, he's a key figure that I've certainly looked to. He's passed on a lot of wisdom and knowledge, just encouraging comments. He's a good guy that will he runs his own gym and everything, but he's, he's someone who will just post encouraging text. Here's one he shared. I'll put it up here and you can read it along with me, but I want to read this. Listen to what he said. Jiu-jitsu students, stop becoming so emotionally invested in your training. What I mean is this. If you train, you will get submitted. In other words, you're going to be the nail sometimes. You will get your guard passed. You will have days that you feel you did nothing right. Instead of your emotions getting the best of you and getting upset, don't take it personal. Look at it as a simple problem that you must fix. When you take this approach, your training becomes much more enjoyable. With this outlook, your chances for longevity in the sport greatly increase. In my opinion, most people get in their head way too much. Jiu-jitsu is supposed to be a stress reliever from a very stressful life, and some of you are making it the opposite. Change your mindset and more enjoyable training. That, that's fantastic wisdom. Listen, I get it. This is such a great observation because you will be both hammer and nail. And what's bad about this is just like anything in life. As long as things are going good, it's like, yay, I love jujitsu. And so as long as we're the hammer, it's like we're good with it. But then you're the nail and then you, you what, you, we want to quit? just because it didn't go so good for a few days, a few weeks, a few months of having a season of it's just not clicking. Listen, I've been training for, um, oh, goodness, eight and a half years now. And, you know, man, I got three stripes on my brown belt. And I'm just sharing that because I want you to understand I'm a pretty decent ways into this journey. I've not only had like days of being the nail, I've had seasons of being the nail where I just felt like, what is going on? I, at blue belt, white belt, blue belt, I've certainly had those experiences, but it started to trickle in for like, I'd have a month of it. Purple belt, same thing, like what is going on? And a brown belt, guess what? I have it too. If you're allowing the days you're the nail to get you down and discouraged about jujitsu, your mindset is wrong and needs to change. That's the harsh reality that you need to come to grips with. Because I'll be honest with you, there's days where I certainly go in there and things go well and it's clicking and it's great. There's days that it doesn't. And it doesn't impact my joy of jujitsu. I still walk out of the gym the same way now. In all fairness, of course, there's days where you get a little discouraged. That's part of it. But I'm saying if you start questioning everything, you know, why am I so horrible? And I, I see these, I follow a couple of Facebook groups and people are just questioning everything because they had a bad day at the office, so to speak. And I'm like, guys, it's jujitsu. This is kind of what we do, which is why I want to share this video. There are days that you're going to go to class and it's just working and everything is right. Your timing is right. Your transitions are smooth. You see things coming before they happen. You see submissions take place and you attack one and you kind of, they defend it, but you already knew the follow-up and so you're on it right then. It happens. And those those moments are fantastic. But you have to understand this is an incredibly difficult art. Oh, by the way, other people are learning it too. We, it's almost like we expect here's our learning curve and we expect everyone else just to stay here. It's like, man, why, why am I having such a hard time? Because they are growing with you. They're accelerating their knowledge and their skill set as well. So of course they're going to give you problems. Of course the people you train with every day are going to give you a hard time. That's part of it. So I appreciate this because I've seen enough and read enough to know that that's a needed message out there. That pay attention to how you respond. Look, everybody's going to respond good if you the days you're the hammer. Like, oh, I'm good. I'm the hammer. 
But how do you respond on days you're the nail? That will expose your mindset. And if it gets you to a bad place mentally, guess what? You have got to change your mindset. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I want to encourage you to subscribe if you have not done so already. I want to keep video content coming your way that will benefit you in your jujitsu, that will encourage you in your jujitsu. Until next time, train on.